Do you suffer with low self-esteem? Self-esteem and confidence are often confused. Some people consider them to be the same thing. While self-esteem and confidence are related, they're not the same thing. But increasing confidence can have a knock-on effect when it comes to increasing self-esteem. And increasing self-esteem can have a knock-on effect when it comes to confidence. Increasing self-esteem and confidence can help you to become more assertive. Likewise, becoming more assertive can help you to increase your confidence and self-esteem. So although a lack of self-esteem, confidence and assertiveness usually results from the same experiences, they're not the same thing. So what is self-esteem? Self-esteem, confidence and assertiveness are nominalizations. A nominalization is an NLP term for something that you can't put in a wheelbarrow. Nominalizations happen whenever a person describes a process, a verb, as a thing, a noun. So the good news is that you can increase self-esteem by changing your actions. How would you behave with more self-esteem? What steps could you take to start behaving that way? What causes low self-esteem? Many people who suffer with low self-esteem have grown up in dysfunctional families. Dysfunctional families often think it's funny to take the mickey out of each other, to make fun of each other, to call each other names, put each other down. When a child is growing up in such an environment, they're looking to their parents and caregivers and the adults around them to help them understand the world, help them understand themselves. If they're being attacked, put down, called names, they're going to internalise that. They're going to think it means there's something wrong with them. It's going to create a negative inner voice that's going to attack them, put them down the same way they were attacked and put down as children. Also going to cause them to have a poor self-image, to view themselves in a negative light. So when we're living in an environment where we're being attacked, put down, called names, we're going to internalise it. We're going to think it means there's something wrong with us and it's going to create low self-esteem. I have several workshops where I go much deeper on low self-esteem, on inner child healing, increasing confidence, reducing anxiety. See the comments below for links to future workshops.